Hello genealogists, it's Craig with Just Genealogy. Yet another Book Sunday. We actually had lots of books come in this week at Heritage Books, uh, which given the dry spell we've had for the past couple of weeks, it was kind of nice. I wanted to talk about some of them. Maybe not all of them, maybe you'll save some for next week. But one of them was Boylston, Massachusetts in the Civil War. The letters home of Private John W. Partridge with biographical sketches of other Boylston soldiers. So Boylston is up in Massachusetts. He was a member of the 25th Regiment Massachusetts Infantry, and he fought primarily in North Carolina. He also served with the Signal Corps uh, later on in the war. So he served during the war from 1861 to 1864. Unfortunately, he died in Andersonville. He was a scholar and an educator and he, his job, he thought, was to provide in his letters firsthand observations of what was going on in the war, specifically in North Carolina. And his goal, as he described it in his letters, was to preserve his journals so that he could refer to them upon his return home. And unfortunately, he never returned home. The book is also composed of biographical information on other soldiers from Boylston. And it includes maps of or Worcester, Mass, um, North Carolina, the Civil War, Roanoke Island, North Carolina, and New Bern, North Carolina. So that's Boylston, Massachusetts in the Civil War. Uh, one of the books that we were, it went out of print, then just came right back into print in no time whatsoever was the People's Journal which is Pickens, South Carolina. And it's basically the abstracts of births, deaths, marriages, sheriff sales, clerk of court sales, mortgage sales, final estate settlements and notices to creditors and debtors, and a variety of other records, Pickens, Oconee, and Anderson counties, and to a lesser degree, Greenville and Spartansburg. So happy to have this one back. It covers the time period 1894 to 1903. I'm doing my eight and a half by 11s first. So uh, the next is a genealogy, which is the Prindle Pringle genealogy. And this was taken from a manuscript originally compiled by Admiral Franklin Coswell Prindle. And it is uh, was compiled between 1881 and 1906 by him. He was a rear admiral of the United States Navy and modified and updated in the 1930s and then further updated in the 1960s. So this talks about a man of unknown origin named William Pringle uh, who carried the line to the New World where the name was changed to Prindle. And he's basically in Connecticut but there are connections of the Prindle Pringle families in Massachusetts, Virginia, North Carolina, and Canada. This genealogy begins with William of New Haven. Another book that we brought back to, into print, it's been gone for about a year, uh, is the Epps Connection. And this is the Epps, 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 and Epps families in the southern United States, descended primarily from Francis Epps, who came to Virginia from County Kent, England, prior to 1625. Another genealogy that we have is Addington. Sometimes the covers just aren't conducive to showing him by hand, which is a directory of the descendants of Henry and Sarah Addington of, guess what? Union County, South Carolina. I knew there was a Union County in there somewhere. It's been out of print for a number of years. As has Russell Ducher's book, Biographical Sketches of the Sheriffs of the County of Union in the state of New Jersey, 1857 to 1993. Don't know why that one's been out of print for so long. One that is really weird is Social New York under the Georges, 1714 to 1776. Gives you some insight into um, furniture, uh, 
parties, silverware, uh, call them accoutrements, fans, brooches, tables, those kind of things. Extant in New York in the colonial period. Good book, if you're into that kind of thing. Then we now have a book back in print on the Merrimack River, sources and its tributaries. This, of course, is a river that flows through New Hampshire and Massachusetts, northeastern Massachusetts. And this talks about the pieces associated with that. It's by Medor. And then somebody the other day was talking about uh, pardons by the president. And these are the Civil War pardons. This actually is a House of Representatives report from the 40th Congress second session. It's executive document number 16. And basically it's a message from the president of the United States where he's pardoning people in the states of Alabama, Virginia, West Virginia, and Georgia. And this one, um, the price is going, the price on it's wrong. So the price will change in the next printing, the next time we order it uh, to get back up where it belongs because it's cheaper now than it should be. We also have a book on Burlville, Rhode Island, as it was and as it is. And this uh, is a work originally published in 1856, and it's been retyped, and it's a narrative of uh, topics that deal with northwestern, this northwestern Rhode Island town. Prior, of course, to 1856. Then we have the descendants of William White of Haverhill, Massachusetts, a, a real old genealogy. And then one of my favorite books, The Hammett Papers, Early Inhabitants of Ipswich, Massachusetts. It's uh, an old favorite. It's been out of print with us for quite some time. Uh, the proprietors of the records of Cambridge. I was just talking to somebody about somebody who was living in Cambridge, and this provides the early history of the new town. And uh, I didn't realize that Cambridge was actually created as a town when at the same time Harvard University was created there. But this deals with the areas of Arlington, Brighton, and Lexington. And it is verbatim transcripts of three volumes of records kept by the proprietors of Cambridge beginning in 1634 and ending in 1829. And then in case you have an interest in Jeromino, Geromino, Geromino. You know what I'm talking about, Geromino. Geromimo. That Indian in the Southwest that caused problems. This is the story of his life by S.M. Barrett. Then another book on Alexandria, on Alexandria, Virginia, city officialdom, 1749 to 1992 by T. William Miller. It also has been out of print for a long time. And that's the list that I'm going to go through today. So because I haven't picked up a book for a discount today, uh, what I decided to do, just in sense of I had to get dressed up today for a talk on the Revolutionary War to a genealogical society out in Illinois. Great talk. Um, what I thought I would do is offer a 20% discount for um, three days. And then it will end. 20% off anything at Heritage Books. This is your opportunity, people. Now, if you're watching this video after the three days have passed, don't forget we have other videos that have discounts in them. But if you'll let me know what books you'd like to have available at a discount if you miss this opportunity, I'll be happy to try to accommodate you. Sometimes I can give a 40, sometimes I can give a 20. But because it's everything on our website, it can't be 40, it has to be 20. 
and I'm sorry about that, but at 20, for the next three days, it will end at uh, midnight on Wednesday, because assuming you're watching this on Sunday, and this is to thank you for being an individual that quickly takes a look at my videos and makes it possible for me to feel good about myself as you watch my videos. So this is Craig from Just Genealogy telling you that up until midnight on Wednesday, you have a 20% discount on anything available from Heritage Books. And that is an entire order, not just one book. Whatever you want to do, 20% discount. And the code will be, what's a good code? Book Sunday 20. That way I can use that code again just by changing the dates. So Book Sunday 20 is your code for the day. Y'all have fun out there. Be careful and become a genealogist because this is just genealogy where we're converting people doing genealogy into genealogists day by day. Again, if there's something you want me to talk about, let me know. If you've got a problem you'd like me to help you solve, let me know. I can't promise, but I'll do, I'll do something. And now I can go and get out of this coat and tie. What a day. <laughs>